on MasterChef, the best home cooks in America. All of you, welcome. Took their place in the MasterChef kitchen. It's time for the world's biggest culinary competition to begin. The first elimination test served up a big surprise. Two of you will be leaving the MasterChef kitchen. Some you slipped pee. into a downward spiral. Oh, it's disintegrating. You've just sort of crashed to the bottom. In the end, Rihanna and Matteo became the first casualties of the kitchen. Tonight. Are you ready for the ride of your lives? It's the first team challenge of the season. Hurry up! The guests are here! Let's go! And the top 20 are in for an emotional roller coaster. Stop! There's no fish cooked! Get your together. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. I already spoiled it. Too late. They're going to a fucking... They're going to a roller coaster area. Knott's Berry Farm screamer Sorry. ride. Sorry, they're going to Knott's down. Berry Farm. It feels good to be here, you know? It's that adrenaline pumping happiness. Walking I spoiled it. Park. This is like I'm a, a dream bad boy. come true because I work at I'm a, a bad boy. Park, so I'm a bad boy. I'm really excited you know that it. this is our first team challenge. You know I'm come a bad on, boy. Guys. Come on, line up. Good morning. Ruin. You good? Morning. You look great. Line up, please, guys. Perfect. Welcome to Knott's Berry Farm, America's first ever theme park. <laughs> right, this is your very first team challenge. <laughs> Every day, thousands and thousands of visitors come to this amusement park. Today, you will be feeding them. <laughs> That's right. All. Oh, God. All. All of the people coming through these gates today will be fed by you. Wow. Nice. Yeah. I've never fed over 50 people at one time. This is going to be insane. I am absolutely scared. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not scared of roller coasters. Everybody knows this because I was very brave at Universal Studios. I think some people saw me be very brave and they were a lot of people were saying like wow you are so brave like it's very cool how brave you are you're such a big boy and that's what people kept saying and uh, quite frankly I agree I was being a big boy and thank you yeah on the count of three you're gonna split up into your own teams of ten. One. Two, three. Oh, Sigil just say, go, pick your own teams. And most of the girls run to Dan. I'm like, really? You run to the model boy? Blue team. A lot of girl power over Woo! here. Dan quite literally stacked the deck early, like with, with the fucking first, the first round protection that he offered to every woman. So it does make sense why they would do that. He gave them all apples, remember? And now the apples, the chickens have come home to roost. The apples have come home to make apple pie, okay? Okay, you picked your teams, but there's one thing missing. He's also a good chef. Your team captains. The person that will captain the red team. Someone said West Elm Dan. Christina, uh, Graham, and I have picked this individual because they work with many people and they know how to assess an individual's skills. <laughs> Kerry. Thank you, Chef. Working in HR, I have to assess talent, strengths, weaknesses at all times, so I'm confident that I'm going to lead us to victory. What's the size of the team that you run? Uh, my store is over 200 strong. 200 strong, and there's 10 of you here. Think about the math. Absolutely. I don't know if Kerry has enough experience to get the job done. I mean, he's an HR manager. We'll see how that translates in the kitchen. Blue team, you have a strong asset. We think that the blue team's captain should be Dara. This is my element. It's a place that I really enjoy. So HR managers are class traders. Yes, they're the class. I mean, there's some in here probably, but I'm sorry. It's Truth. Whatever challenge is about to come, I am ready for it and I can't wait. How long have you been working at the theme park? Almost 10 years. <laughs> you should be setting your team up for success. 
Dara's experience can be somewhat of a benefit, but we have a lot of strong personalities on our team. So for her to tell us what to do, I think it's gonna be hard for her. For this challenge, we picked two of the country's favorite amusement park concession foods. The first item, a delicious burger. And that's gonna be served with a side of onion rings and coleslaw. The other option for your guests today, something I love, fish and chips. What's better than fried food? And what's better than an all-American hamburger? We can't go wrong. Listen carefully. You need to keep the thousands of people who come through these gates extremely happy because they are your judges. The team with the most votes will win the challenge and be safe from elimination. The losers will, of course, face their first ever dreaded pressure test back in the MasterChef kitchen. You guys will have 90 minutes to prep. Make your dishes delicious. Yes, your time starts now. Both teams must quickly develop a strategy to serve delicious fish and this? chips and burgers to more. What the fuck is this? That's not me. That's not me. That that was totally someone else, dude. That's so strange that you guys think that's me. <laughs> that's like not me. I was not even. If it was me, I was just demonstrating like what people yell. Screaming like that. That was just like. <laughs> that was actually demonstrating like what people do when they're afraid of roller coasters, and and that was actually not me at all. To be honest, like that's kind of fucked up that you guys think that's me. What, what is Aiden saying in there? Is, is, is that, is that Hassan? Did they do pictures? That's Hassan? That's not Hassan. Why are juicers slandering? Okay, well, you juicers are making a big mistake, okay? You'll be hearing from my lawyer for defamation. How does that sound? All right. On this one. Oh, on that one. Okay. Here, look. It's That's so not me. I could never even do that. That's so not me, dude. That's so fucked up. It's actually fucked up. More than 500 amusement park visitors. All right, who has experience on the grill? I need to know that right first. Here, who right has grill here. experience? So I've got one, I've got two, I've got three on grill. All right, so we're going to go with a classic burger, and we're going to focus on the wait, sauce wait, wait. that we're going to put on the burger. I'm big on sauce. OK, I do a right, sriracha right. honey no. sauce. We're going to do a raisin sauce. Yes. We could do a barbecue sauce for it. Beer batter barbecue. All right, barbecue. What do you got, Steven? I got Cajun fish and chips. Cajun fish, we're going with that. As team captain, I'll only put everybody where their strengths will allow them to shine. So I'm very confident that we're going to take home the win. With a clear plan in place, the red team begins preparing their ambitious menu. Meanwhile, over on the blue team, Captain Dara is still gathering ideas. Really quick with our um, fish and chips. What about like tartar sauce? Uh, tartar sauce. Yeah, tartar sauce. We, we need something like that. Okay. Who can make a batter? Yeah, batter. Are our bakers batter. here? You want to make a batter? Okay, perfect. And who feels great with the fryers? Yes. I'm good with the fries. To be fair, like when you go to a fucking theme park, I feel like you are willing and able to eat whatever the fuck they serve you. Universal Studios, like the worst part about that entire trip was the the fucking Hogwarts Hall food that we ate. Like I was so excited to eat delicious food that was gonna be like I don't know. God, I sound like such a fucking. I am such a bitch, dude. Unrelated clip. <laughs> I can do an opera. I you want to do an opera voice? Yeah, I can let's opera go. Voice. That was pretty wow. good. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my Damn, that worked. <laughs> this guy's right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was that was that was, that was, that's my voice, not this. Like, see, that's so different than this. Who is screaming like that? It's like it's clearly not me. Um, not me actually. So anyway, what I was saying is uh, that was like kind of the worst part about fucking Universal Zoos or how bad the food is. So I'd be excited to eat whatever the fuck they serve me at that point. I'm questioning Dara's decisions. She's asking who wants to do what. 
And that's not what you do as a team captain, because now everyone's manning your ship. Okay, seriously, guys, one of the things that is most important is your personality. Yeah. People love you when sound you like smile. goofy a falling off. I did love the butterbeer. The butterbeer was actually dope. Entertainment. So I know even if the food isn't really that great, people, they'll still be excited about the smile that you put on your face. Okay, everyone at your stations, I want you to tell me if you need help. Without a doubt, this is the scariest challenge that we've ever done. We've cooked for Marines and the Army, et cetera, but this is the masses. How do you prepare for the battle of serving this many people? Really good question. Yeah. Pure organization. What's going to have to happen today is they're going to start cooking, and then there's going to be another team behind them that's going to prep as well, because they can't afford for their lines to stop and for guests today not picking up food. If people wait more than 10 seconds, they lose a vote. Ready? Carrie, taste it real quick. One salt. Things are going well, but making three sauces to try to feed 500 people is very difficult. As captain, the very first team challenge, stakes are high. I'm here to show the judges that I can make awesome flavors and impress them. We're looking good. Are we good, team? We're good. Out of the gate, Dara's running around, being smiley on the outside. So you guys are doing awesome teamwork. But she hasn't organized anything. She hasn't cooked anything. This is too many burgers to do by myself. Derek, I know you're working hard. Thank you so much. Katrinka, double up on that batter. We're doing the same batter for fish and onion rings. I'm trying my best to communicate with Katrina because she's moving in slow motion. Put a lot in there. Stop, stop. OK, can stop. you? Stop, stop. When you're- If Chad is waiting for more than 12 months of being sub for house, I'm to read their messages. He loses a sub, cat. Bro. <laughs> You've been here for 14 months and you know the only time I'm gonna read it is when you're saying uh, some dumb shit in the chat. One person on an assembly line making the batter for everything. Honey, you've got to do this fast. Get more batter in there. Tell me I got it. Why is he talking? You gotta go faster than He's got that like time. a Let's go. Red team, carry two seconds. That's a very interesting accent. I don't think that's a Chicago Tell me the accent. Menu. We have a classic burger with your choice of three sauces. Three sauces? Yes, sir. On one burger? No, your choice of. You putting the sauce on the burger or in a little cup? We're going to put them on a the cup and let people choose. OK, wow. Well, so that's going to back up your team. Red team, forget the silly idea with three sauces. Do one stunning sauce and stop wasting time. And start getting your head in the game about the volume. It's really I he was urgent from Chicago, that you understand he said. that. Let's go, guys. Come on. Wait, is he Creole? What is the final decision on the sauce? We're gonna combine the lines. Wait, so where did I make it up that he's? Why did I make up that he was from Chicago? Because I thought that that he was. Watching and catch up. As the red team scrambles to streamline their menu, the blue team is struggling he's to keep gay, an efficient pace Wait, in what? the kitchen. All right, Dara, just under 10 minutes to go, yes? Yes, Chef. Claudia, how many burgers have you got made? 45. 45. Who's on the fish? Wait, Tommy's gay? Shut up. How many portions you got cooked, Katrina? None. None. Hey, blue team! Blue team! Yes, yes. There's no fish cooked! We got hundreds and hundreds of guests coming. Gotta reevaluate I'm everything. I'm in charge of the batter for the onion rings and the fish, but I don't have enough time to do the fish. Oh. Are you OK? You're fine. Oh, man. Uh -oh. You OK, Katrina? Yeah. Dara! Look at me. Yes, Should we just cut to the chase and go straight to a pressure test? This is insane! No fish cooked! In this titanic team challenge, our home cooks need to make burgers and fish and chips for hundreds of hungry Knott's Berry Farm patrons. Hey, blue team, there's no fish cooked and we're opening in five minutes. Oh my gosh, is this really happening right now? Katrina has no fish in the fryer and Dara is really not doing anything. So I drop everything I'm doing and run to the back of that station. My MO is to get that fish in that fryer and get it cooking now. Guys, you have hundreds of people coming in in 60 seconds. Let's go. We need tomatoes, we need lettuce, we need whatever your sauce is on this thing. Let's go. For service today, the red team is offering an all-beef burger with panko-crusted onion oh. rings, lime sriracha oh, ketchup, an apple coleslaw, and oh. Cajun spice-crusted fish and chips. How's my fish? Fish up! Woo! OK, tartar sauce, please. The blue team is serving a cheeseburger with beer-battered onion rings, chipotle mayonnaise, and purple cabbage coleslaw, and beer-battered fish and chips. 
The winner of today's challenge will be determined by all of the guests who will select either a red and blue team burger or a red and blue team fish and chips. The guests will vote for the Bro, why, 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 why? Tell Murad I copied his patent. Tell Murad his patent doesn't work. Tartufo Bianco, Tartufo Bianco. I'm watching from Pyongyang right now. Tartufo Bianco. Like, this motherfucker has been saying literally this this entire time what do you want 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 fuck so fucking annoying just go on tell us tell us what you want pepela pepela one okay dude fucking cool off for 10 minutes the team whose dish they enjoyed the most here we go red team blue team we are open Motherfuckers would be like, this is going to be a fire joke. Like, actually fire joke. Only if he sees it. He surely mustn't be fucking avoiding the joke on purpose. Because it's not that, you know. Our, our guests. Let's go. Kerry. Kerry the guests are here. Seriously. I got the slot. I got the slot. I got the slot here. Blue team. If these people have to wait more than 10 seconds, they leave without fish or burgers. Fish and chips. It's the best. As service first starts, we're getting hit by a Mack truck. Hamburger. I need a hamburger right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here, play it. The line is longer than any line I've seen in life. Fish and chips, fish and chips. Enjoy. We need more people up front. I jump in to make an assembly line of sorts so we can kind of get ahead of the game. More tomatoes. Burger right here. Enjoy, I got the burger chili. We have to continue to keep pushing. Here you go, sweetheart. Y'all make some noise for the red team. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Having a blast here, aren't we? Bottom burger. Burger top. Me and Derek set up a system, and we start pumping out food. Burger for my friend. God bless Claudia. She's cranking out fish. Fish, fish up. Derek has burgers in. Bro, you off leftovers until April? No. Wait, what? What happened? Why? What happened? Hassan Ethan just said leftovers is coming back for a couple months. Wait, really? He didn't tell me that, but you know, GG's. If that's the case. Wait, why didn't he text me that? It's probably because of the baby. Bro, y'all should have let Ethan tell him law. No, I mean, it's all good. He said he told you. No, he didn't. He didn't say until April. He said until he said he was going to push it back for two more weeks. I thought. I think you guys are debating. This is where your Trisha arc begins. Wait, what? Why would why would I do that? Guys. Guys, I. Not April 1st or two months. He said they're having the baby. No, I know that. Okay. Guys. Whoa, what the fuck? A little baby F here. Guys, I stream. I thought he said two weeks, uh, not two months, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't matter. Like I literally, I literally stream every fucking day. He literally just said he didn't tell you on stream them out. I stream every single day. Like if I can't, if you know, if we push back leftovers for uh, a month or two, like it's fine. It's all good. It's real. They just said it in the podcast, but he said he hasn't told you yet and that he'll let you know. Chaz is looking for drama. In one spot. Bring me sliced tomatoes, please. We have communication front to back. Everyone is working their butts off. Here you go. And we're being successful. Fish! Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Over on the red team, Captain Carey is struggling to find balance between his cooking and leadership responsibilities. Behind, behind, I got more buns coming. Did you say hamburger? Another hamburger? 
Any onion rings? We have none. You have none? Kerry, where's the onion rings? Onion rings are not done, chef. They're not done? No, chef. Oh, come on. Who's supposed to be on the onion rings? Kerry is supposed to be on the onion rings. As team captain, I was running around like a crazy person, and I forgot the onion rings. Kerry, I've got no onion rings, and you're losing customers. They're moving on. I don't want to step on Carrie's toes, but as long as I'm on this team, we're not missing any votes, because an empty plate is a no vote. These were good hamburgers. I'm so sorry we weren't there for you. Watch out, watch out. I got it. Get over there. I got it. If we don't get this done, we can be facing the pressure test. Yeah! Here we go! In the amusement park, guests are voting for their favorite dish by ringing the bell of the high striker that matches the color of the team whose food they prefer. I like the blue team's fish and chips more because I got a nice big piece of fish. I'm a sucker for beer batter. I really liked it. You got fish? I got fish. I like the red team. It has more flavor. Oh, another red! Here's the time times the time stamp you talking about it? I see uh, a lot of people asking what about leftovers. Um, oh, yeah. We explain. Did you talk about it? I think we explained before the break, but maybe. Explain again. I'm confused too. Wait, you are? Kind Crack of. Up. I'm confused because. <laughs> What's what are you confused? About? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you the confused? song said we were, we're back in two weeks, but then I was, but then I was like, I don't think so. Oh. No, we're so we're going on a hiatus from leftovers for a month or two, basically when the baby comes. Essentially, what happened is. With the baby coming, we knew that Ethan's availability would be a lot less because he's not going to be sleeping for the next couple months. So instead of doing four episodes a week, uh, we will only be doing three. And for the first couple weeks with the baby, that's maybe even a stretch. But we're that's the plan for now, anyways. So until I knew that they were, I knew that they were going to push it back uh, until the baby comes. But I thought it was going to be originally they said the twenty third was going to be the first uh, release of the first episode. And then Ethan says something like, oh, I need a couple more weeks. And I thought it was going to be two weeks. But take as much time. Look, they can take as much time as they want. Uh, if they, I don't know, if they, if they need to lower the, uh, lower the show load so that they can, you know, so that they can take care of the baby and shit like that. I mean, I don't, I don't care. Paternity leave is a good thing? No, absolutely. I don't know why people are making a big deal out of this, especially because, like, I mean, I literally... We, first of all, Ethan and I talk every day. And secondly, I literally stream every day. It's not like I got fucking fired, you know what I mean? Like, people are making it seem like this is my job. This is my one job that I got fired from. <laughs> like... Oh. What did we say? Um, April. Um, the episodes, once the baby comes, will be a little bit more low-key. They might even be shorter, um, uh, depending on how things go. Uh, and after that, things... It's funny because they did a prediction section, and one of the best was you and Ethan would get into a fight this year. Why would we get into a fight? Guys, even if... Even if they were like, we're never going to do uh, leftovers ever again... We're like, we're never going to do leftovers ever again. I don't care. I like, I had a great time. And, uh, and even then I, I mean, I'd be sad, like, cause I like the show and I think it has a lot of potential, but it ultimately wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. Like I motherfuckers act like I am uh, like, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not TYT Hassan anymore. You know what I mean? I have my own show. No, it's not shade. Why are people so hungry for drama? I, I, I look, I love the H3H3 H3, uh, crew. I think they're fucking awesome. We literally just did Chad Vice. Um, I don't know, uh, like, I, I don't know what the, uh, what the time frame is, but whatever they are comfortable with, then that's great. Things will kind of shift back to the normal schedule. So we'll, we'll be going back to four episodes a week. Uh, I think, you know, if some, Something big happened. Yeah, we're not like fucking, we're, we're not like frenemies or some shit. I don't know if that's what you guys are looking out of this, uh, looking to get out of this. We might we might do emergency leftovers, mm -hmm. you know, that's not out of the question, but uh, Ethan just felt like it was way 
I guess too so. much I to gotta take tell on. Hassan because he ow. God, I've got crazy arthritis or something. I pick up Wait, my phone. Wait, you haven't told Hassan? No, yeah, I, did. I did. Yeah. I did. <laughs> I we were but on he the same just page. said on his stream that we're back in two weeks, which oh. confused me. <laughs> so we're back in when? February, some shit. April. Fuck your mom. April. How about that? Jeez, chill, bro. I'm having a baby. I don't... <laughs> That wasn't a prediction. Shut the fuck up, farmer chatter. Jesus Christ. This is all okay. Here's the reality. Okay. Because Ethan said I have a tiny head. And now it's, it's because I'm suing him because he's, he said I have a tiny head. It's real. The DM that he actually posted was real, dude. Did he even ask you about having a baby? Yeah, it's really selfish. Can't believe he's just flexing how much of a breeder he is on me and everybody else, dude. That was brutal. Sorry, I saw that must have hurt. Wait, what? Are you okay? W there is no drama. What the fuck is wrong with people, bro? <laughs> take some time off. All right, I'll deal with this afterwards. Okay. You guys looking mighty normal size with current hair? Thank you. All right, let's get back to Master Chef. I like the Blue Team's burger better because it did have cheese. I like the Blue Team burger better. I did not get any of the Red Team burger. Back in the kitchen, the blue team continues its service with a smile. Here you are, my dear. Thank you very much. Everyone's on a roll. Everyone's doing what they need to do. Everyone is busy. There's no one just standing there doing nothing. We're working. We're cranking it out. Hi, little guy. Are you in the mood for some fish today? Can I have some fish? Stop. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. The fish is raw. Oh, draw. God. Draw. Bro, this dude is a hound, bro. He just always... Gordo's special skill is always finding fucking raw fish. Or raw everything. Who's How? This? Claudia, she's in the back. Claudia! Sometimes I feel like they just script it. Stop! Blue team! Come here! Hurry up! My worst nightmare coming into MasterChef was hearing the words, it's raw. That's not undercooked. That is ice cold and raw. Get your <laughs> together. Yes, chef. Because right now, this is dangerous. Under no circumstance would I ever eat that myself. Nonetheless, want that for someone else to get sick off of, possibly. This is something that has to be fixed right now, or we're going into that pressure test. Hey, blue team! I promise you now, I'll close this down. One more raw fish. Blue team! I promise you now, I'll close this down. One more raw fish. Katrina? Yes! The batter is too. The reason why I didn't want to ask Iran, like, if they do stuff like that, is because I kind of don't want to ruin the fucking, you know, the magic. Also, Iran says she's making me cookies. She asked me what my favorite cookies were. So, that's exciting. Dude, that's MasterChef certified cookies, dude. Yeah, that's a MasterChef cookie. So there's that. But anyway, um, our cookies, fuck no, my cookies, dude. Um, 
But yeah, no, the reason why I didn't want to ask, the reason why I didn't want to fucking ask like about all that shit is because I don't know. Do you want to know the truth about all that? Then you can't consume it. You know, it's not the same anymore. Too thick. Nothing's cooking in it. Why? Because all this flour's gone in there. It's just like a big cement mixer. We at the bottom. I'll make a fresh one. With the fish fillets being dredged in flour and dipping them into that batter, it was only adding more and more flour, making that batter more and more dense. We need two fish. One minute. I'm so sorry. We don't have any fish. Those are all votes that we are now letting go. They signed NDAs. We... I don't think she could tell you. No, she quite literally said her NDA ran out. So she could tell me precisely whatever the fuck I wanted to hear. Can't get her together long enough to put food on people's plates. I am in complete panic at this point. While the blue team struggles to keep up with the demand on fish and chips and stop forfeiting valuable votes. Sorry. Enjoy. The red team has rebounded nicely from their onion ring fiasco and are fast gaining momentum. Here you go. Salt, salt me over here. Bring one now, baby. Charlie and Nick back here are just crushing it. Nick is the savior for us right now. He's mixing batter with his hands. He's getting his clothes dirty because we have to have onion rings to have complete plates. A red team! That is unsanitary. The voting gathers pace and the guests continue to taste and critique their dishes. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of the blue team's fish and chips, so I have to go with the red. Where is my fish? Three fish up! I kind of like the blue burger because the red one was kind of salty. You got nothing from the red team, and you clearly got nothing from the blue team. Wow. So all over the place, thank you guys. Right, red team, your last five customers. Make sure it's your best. Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy. Last five are coming in right now, guys. You need these boats. Fish and chips. Right there. Here you go. What did you have? I had the fish and chips. The red one, they didn't put enough seasoning, but the blue one I thought was perfectly seasoned, and it just was so delicious. You are the very last one. Good job. We did it. There you are, my dear. Extra special just for you. That's it, guys. That is it. Good job. I haven't fallen in love with the contestants yet. I don't know if I'm alone in this chat, but like, I haven't like, um, I haven't found like contestants I'm simping for aggressively yet. You know what I mean? Like, we're we're fucking four episodes in, and it's like. They all seem like characters, but I haven't really seen like characters that like stick out in a in a positive or even very negative way. <sighs> Relief. You guys were the best team. You worked your butt off. Today was like riding the teacups. You keep whirling and whirling and you feel like you're going to vomit, but it never happens. And you leave kind of feeling nauseated and excited at the same time. And I'm hoping that the guests that were able to get food from us will vote for the blue team and that they liked what we put out there. Keep our heads up. Keep our heads up. With service finally complete, the last few votes are being cast to determine today's winners and losers. Blue team, today we asked all of you to cook for the hundreds and hundreds of amazing guests that came to Knott's Bray Farm to enjoy some good food. Let's be honest, it was a truly roller coaster experience, right? Bro, Joe literally but was the glue that held it together. There can only be one winning team. Has MasterChef and the results peaked? Are on their way. as the marshal of the band, and I'm like, oh my god, he's just the cutest thing ever. Oh, this man amazing cool. band takes me back to my high school days when I was in color guard, and I'm just so excited and thinking to myself, please, God, tell me that my team pulled through and that the red team failed at some point. Thank you, Graham. Amazing. Well done. Absolutely brilliant. The results are in. Drum roll, please. Wow. One 
team received 59% of your votes, and the other team, 41% of your votes. The winning team for today's challenge, congratulations. Red team! I'm so happy because that was one of the most difficult things that I've ever done. It felt like we went through a war. And I'm so glad we don't have to go into a pressure test. Red team, go and celebrate with your guests. Like, I have no idea who any of these characters are. I guess it's like I'm being an aggro. Off you go. There you go. There you go. They got old mom with the crazy fucked up pie. They got, uh, they got Frogan. Okay. They got better Frogan. And that's pretty much it. Like, I don't know who the fuck any of the other. Why is it playing at 480p? Yeah, you got, uh, you got sassy fashion man. You got engineer model. You got pile, not a pilot. You got drummer boy who only talks about drumming. And you got pie lady who doesn't make pies, but I think she looks like a pie lady who cries all the time. Blue team, start clearing up the kitchens, please. Thank you. It definitely hurts me that I let my team down because it should have been easier in my element. Let's scrape grills. I'm pretty devastated that my teammates and I have to go into a pressure test, especially because that means someone's going home. We had a leader, yeah. and we didn't come up with the right plan. Morgan's emos are insane, dude. Come on down, please. Line up. Thank you. Going into this first pressure test, you don't want to be the weakest person. Tommy overcomplicates things. I've just seen Dara under pressure. So bring on the pressure test. Yesterday, we all went to an amusement park for what should have been the ride of your lives. Red team, you had the most votes. And that's why you 10 home cooks are all safe up on the balcony. Congratulations. What if it's the exact same show, but now you have a different perspective because the veil has been lifted? Stop. Don't say that. No, I think it's still, uh, there's not enough drama yet. I need shit talking. I need anger. I need momentum. I need movement. Like, I need... I need disrespectful characters. I need characters that fucking grossly overestimate their skill. I need characters that have incredible skill but are insecure. <laughs> Unfortunately, Blue Team, your day at the amusement park really was a roller coaster ride. Dara, I was in shock yesterday. I've never seen a team in such disarray. What did you see? I feel like we started off really, really strong because we have strong, amazing chefs here. They all listened and I delegated. Dan was in charge of our chips. He was very quick with what he was doing. Olivia did, I thought, great with the slaw. She had me taste it and she fixed it when it needed We're to be We're here fixed. because you lost. Yes. So instead of telling us what your team did great, it's time to really face the exactly. fact that you guys are down here facing a pressure test because you lost. Tell me. What in the hell happened there yesterday? Communication is key, and that was one of our big faltering errors. The more I tried to communicate with Katrina, I was met with yeah. total dissatisfaction and disdain. Tommy kept talking to me about, what am I doing, what am I doing? Like, it was an ongoing question, and he didn't do You upset? Let's go. Yes. Yeah. Not as upset as the customers were yesterday. Correct. Let's go. Blue team. Cry. It's time to Tommy face make her your cry. very first pressure test. There are 10 of you standing in front of us, but just five of you are going to have to face this pressure test. The home cook deciding on which five compete and which five head up to the balcony is your team captain, Dara. Damn. First person. I am Dara, happy. I need more drama. I need more First drama. I need more drama. Did a lot of things that I asked them to do, and they were strong in them. And I also know the importance at a theme park of entertainment. And so to have that happy face, kids will see that too. So who are you choosing? Elsa. Thank you, Dara. You're saving Elsa because she had a happy face. And when people needed and... her, she was there for them. But okay. Elsa, please head to the balcony. Wow. Amazing. Dara, 
You have four more people on your team to save. I think Claudia should be saved. Thank you. Third choice, Dara. Sarah. Sarah, dismal performance. Head upstairs. Thank you. I'm mad. Dara is saving her friends instead of the people who really worked hard. And where I'm from, you don't do that. You have two picks left. This person eventually helped with our assembly line. Dan, I think Dan should be saved. Go ahead and head upstairs. Thanks, Chef. <sighs> Final. Bro, that's literally the, the, you know, give, give the weird kid, give the quirked up kid a fucking Kit Kat bar to save yourself uh, when the day comes to energy. She basically, she saved him because he gave the fucking, you know, she gave him a, 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 a an apple. Final choice. Now, in this final choice, you can choose yourself. Bro, she has a Disney villain haircut. She has to save herself, okay? No one has ever had a Disney villain haircut like that. She looked, she's out here looking like the Hunger Games, okay? I have not seen this movie. Sorry, I'm sorry. I will never watch it. I think it's Hunger Games. Y you have to save yourself, dude. Come on. Captain, I need an answer. Are you saying she looks like a drag queen? Well, no, I'm saying she looks hungry. Duh. I need to know the final person that you're saving. In this final choice, you can choose yourself. Captain, I need an answer. Ethel. I'm not going to take it. I deserve to be down here. Yo, save yourself, dumbass. What is this? Come on, bro. You play into the fucking Disney Queen shit. If anything, I think Derek should take it. I respect your... You know Derek's like, fuck yeah, I'm taking it. Honesty. Young man, you went to hell and back yesterday. Off you go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Derek. Derek does not give a fuck. Derek's like, yo. Karma is beautiful. I mean, Derek's like, I'm drumming, I'm drumming my way up to the top, you know? Dara was a terrible leader. The only thing she did right is keeping herself in the pressure test. Tonight, you guys will be making one of my favorite things to make. Oh, the yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Of... Bro, this season is literally going to end with me becoming 700 pounds. Because every time, and I mean every fucking time, they show delicious sweet treats. It's like there's something in my brain. I'm like a crackhead. Okay? I'm like a crackhead, and they're sparking up in front of me, okay? I want crack. I want crack so fucking bad, dude. This is my crack, okay? This is my Afghanistan. This is my West Elm, whatever the fuck the dude's name was. I totally forgot. Cinnamon roll. I fucking love cinnamon rolls, dude. Are you pastry. kidding me? Gooey frosting. A classic American breakfast treat. Baking is not my forte. I don't even eat cinnamon rolls. Obviously, Katrina knows more about pies, cakes, cookies, donuts, and cinnamon rolls than I do, so I've got to bring it. It's time to head to your stations. Let's go. In front of you, you all have everything that you need to make 12 delicious cinnamon rolls. You also have access to a limited pantry of ingredients that can help your cinnamon rolls shine and stand out. You have 45 minutes to prepare and bake us 12 incredible cinnamon rolls. Your 45 minutes starts now. Go, Hethel. Hassan should really clarify he's found a contestant is in for you, just the judge. Same, though. I mean, I do sim for Christina Tazi. She's fucking... Oh, man. She's great. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice came out like that.
I just, dude, come on. She makes, dude, I've literally eaten the delicious treats that she's made so many times. No, I was not ordering desserts off my phone. I was talking to Ethan. Um, I never said I hate milk bar. I said, I like milk bar more than I like milk more than I like milk bar. Uh, but I still love milk bar too. Are you kidding me? I've had all the different kinds of pies. I've had all the different kinds of cakes. I've had so much. Apparently she's the wife of Daniel Hum, probably the best chef in the world. I mean, I'm simping for her, not in like a sexual way. I mean, to be fair, like, you know, if she wanted, she could have all of this. Like, that's fine. But, but I, I, my simping is like platonic kind of, you know what I mean? Like, like, I think she's dope. Right. What's the best thing? The cornflakes, uh, the, the, the cornflake marshmallow cookie is so bomb, but the truffles are fucking stupid. Like they're just insane. Like the truffle ball, the edible truffle ball things are just fucking, mm, 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 mm. Were you able to settle the massive drama with Ethan? Yeah, no, it's, uh, we're fucking fighting, dude. We're duking it out. Have we got the right five down here? I mean, Dara clearly picked some weird people. I thought Katrina and Derek would have been the first two to send yes. us there. There's no reason Katrina should be down here. She's really in an emotional state right now. I was impressed that Hethel didn't take the pass. Admirable. I respect that. It's yep. exactly the kind of thing you'd want to see in our own brigade. You don't take the easy way out ever. That's not how you get through life. So I'm down here and I'm making a chai lot. Crack pie and compost cookies. Compost cookies good. Crack pie is better than compost cookies. But they are goaded. This is my husband's favorite thing. I make it for him almost every weekend. I'm gonna have the best cinnamon rolls there are. Um, Christina, cinnamon rolls. How hard are they? The first 10 minutes, you have to have the dough made. It's all about rolling it out into an even yes. thickness. You have to have the right balance of that cinnamon sugar goo in the center. Those buns should go in the oven 15 minutes sure. in because they're going to take about yep. 25 exactly. minutes to bake. Six. I think I'm going to make a cinnamon roll with some sort of alcohol in the raisins and orange. At least one person is going home, and it's not going to be me. 37 minutes to go. Hey, Katrina. Hey. Are you surprised you're down here? I am. I thought I worked my butt off yesterday. That's okay. I'm gonna rock it. Tell me about your cinnamon rolls. I'm gonna make a rosemary and raisin cinnamon roll and some nice icing. I don't want to learn more about Christina Tazi's backstory because I'm gonna simp too aggressively if I do. Because she's got that like powerful, confident businesswoman lady energy that is just incredible. And I've also, I'm telling you, like I already have a connection with this person, okay? I have eaten her treats. So like, you know, it's just like, I don't need to learn more to simp harder. Okay. It's going to be hard. I, come on chat. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's just, how can I describe it? Like I, I have physically like, imagine you have my merchandise, right? You have my merch. You went, you bought my apparel. That's a piece of me that you own. You know what I mean? This is like, the same times even more because then I'm eating it too. It's like if you ate my merch, I guess. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. Do you make cinnamon rolls at home back in Wisconsin? You know, I don't, but I know what flavors go good together. Like it Hopefully feels like she out. made it for me, strong. you know? I will. I'll work my ass. 15 minutes gone, 30 minutes to go. For you, the last 30 minutes of this competition? No, I'm not done. I'm going to whoop some serious ass. I'm yeah. from Chicago. Right, what are you doing there? Oh, yeah, Chad is like he's Creole. Yeah, no. Green tea and pistachio cinnamon roll. Wow. Who'd you Ooh, want to the competition? I like that. The bitch who tried to throw me under the bus. <laughs> Katrina. I'm just telling the that truth. That comment about Extina talking about her boobs getting huge really allowed me to better appreciate her as a, ju as a judge. Yeah, that too. When the chatter told us about how she was talking about her boobs. That was fucked up. Tommy's going home because all he is is talk. I shall show her a lesson. If you don't get him the other in the next five minutes, he will be going home. I know, chef. Good luck. She didn't one of her employees did, yeah, but she, but like, it makes me feel like she did. Shut up. Just over 25 minutes to go. Remember, those cinnamon rolls need to be in the oven any minute now. Dara, 
tell me about your cinnamon roll right now. Are you gonna do something to stand out of the yeah. pack? Yeah, so we got some anise, cloves, uh -huh. some raisins, and uh, possibly some walnuts for the top. I'm really, really nervous. How much time do you have to get, to get these in? I mean, they're getting theirs rolled. She's got her liquid I'm right ready. right here, chef. I'm right. right here. I just need to roll this out. Thank you very much. You got this, Katrina. Yeah! Good job, Hoffle. I've never seen a pressure test so intense as this. Oh, God. Dara has her cinnamon rolls up. Yeah. Tommy yeah. still hasn't even Tommy rolled, hasn't rolled, rolled it. Stella. You have got to get your cinnamon rolls in the oven. Good job, Dara. All right. Yeah. Good job. Dara's just on the oven now. Those rolls are no. too big. They're but, not going to no. bake. Come on, Tommy. Get it in. Tommy is still not in the oven, and it's 21 minutes to go. Uh -oh. I am absolutely petrified. I need at least 25 minutes for these cinnamon rolls to bake, and I'm late. They have got to go in the oven. I'm getting what are you them doing, in the Tommy? pan. They'll be in the oven in 30 seconds. Oh, yep. my goodness. That box that the cinnamon rolls are supposed to go in, that's my casket. I'm a goner. I can't watch that. Oh, my God. Dude, they should let him fucking cook for longer, because that's such a unique fucking... Dish. God damn it, dude. I, I want to I wanna taste it. One of the things I hate about this fucking show is that, like, I don't get to taste the delicious treats, especially when they're making delicious treats, which I see, uh, which I feel like they're making a lot of this season because of Christina Tazi, who is a delicious treat herself and a treat maker. Come on, Tommy. Tommy, your cinnamon rolls have got to go in the oven. I'm getting them in the pan. They'll be in the oven in 30 seconds. Oh, yep. my God. I know that I've got to survive this pressure test, but I am stressed for time. You gotta get it in the oven. So I quickly roll those things out and throw those in the oven. Good job, Tommy! And then I'll just cross my fingers and start praying. Just go in the oven now. My fear is that the rolls are, I mean, to Too bake big. a roll the size at this point. But if they cook in time, they're gonna look stunning, right? Yeah. 30 minutes gone, 15 minutes to go. Don't open it. Wow. Bake for me. So now that cinnamon rolls are in the oven, what do you do in this time? You've got 15 minutes to focus on the topping. Maybe a reduction of fruit juice, caramelizing stuff. Do some candy and pecan. Yep. Do some really extraordinary. Yeah, super fine chop of rosemary or thyme. Something that's not going to disintegrate with heat, something that will hold in cream structure. Cheese. I think cream cheese, marscapone. You don't need a lot of that milk to make it a glaze. I don't know how to fucking fix it, dude. I don't know. It's just tinny, okay? John Pat! Last two minutes, guys. Come on. Get your rolls out of the oven and in the box. Oh, Tommy's out. Let's go, guys. Get it out. 60 seconds to go. Last minute. Come on. Go, Is it still yeah. bad? Tommy, oh, oh, go. Good job. Katrina Froston. Come on, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Get him in. Olivia, put the glaze on. Make it nice, guys. Oh, the box is closed in 10, 9, 8, 7. What I call a pressure test. All of you, well done. It's time to taste your cinnamon rolls. Let's start off with your team captain, Dara. Let's go. Okay, Dara. The proof is in the taste, right? Yes, chef. Describe what's in the box. Today I prepared some anise flavored cinnamon rolls with lemon zest, clove, and cinnamon icing. Oh, darling. Even on top, the dough's raw. I would eat it raw. There's a touch here that is salvageable. Am I the only person who feels this way? Like, I always. I mean, I think it's weird, probably. I think I am weird. I love cookie dough, for example. So sometimes when, like, desserts are raw, I don't really mind it. Actually, I, I kind of like it. Like, I'm, a, I'm such a huge fan of, like, chewy chocolate chip cookies rather than crunchy. And I, I know it can get you sick. I know it can fuck you up. But I do still love that shit. Nah, you're just a fat kid at heart. No, raw cinnamon roll dough is not like cookie dough, but still, dude. Fucking gooey. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll admit it. Yeah, I'll eat. I'll eat a fucking dessert. Like, 
as long as it's like edible and as long as I don't get salmonella, like I'll fucking hit the raw dough. I don't give a shit. It's not the same as like raw poultry or, or raw meats or even raw egg. The walnuts have got the aftertaste. The coconut doesn't work. You've overcomplicated something simple. And unfortunately, you've got one foot outside the door. Cinnamon rolls are one of the most exciting baked goods to enjoy. These are not that exciting at right. these value. Oh my God. Dude. Oh my God. If, if Christina Tazi made that face after I delivered her my you know, my, my fucking cinnamon rolls that were like raw. Oh my, I don't know what I would do. That's devastating. It's over. It's a wrap. GG's. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked up. The nutmeg anise is almost becoming overbearing. I know that you're not proud of what's in the box. I'm not proud. Terrifying. It's you sad. execute, you're never going to make it. Right, next box of cinnamon buns we'd like to taste. Um, Hethel. I really put my Indian background in these cinnamon rolls. The flavors, the spices, that's all me. Hopefully I didn't go too far off the edge and they like it. You know, this is a competition and you could have been up there safe. So you took a big gamble. Let's have a look. So what's in the center? So I made a chai latte cinnamon bun with ginger, allspice, cardamom, and an espresso. Ethan told you leftovers return only in February, not in two weeks. Um, for the time being, uh, leftovers, like Ethan needs more time after the baby is born. I originally thought it was going to be immediately after the baby was born, or at least that's what I thought he meant, but he needs less, uh, he needs to stream less and do less work, which is completely understandable. So cutting leftovers until, or putting leftovers on hiatus until potentially April, or if things normalize at home after, uh, or if things normalize at home after the child is born, the new baby is born, uh, sooner, but that's what it, at, that's where it's at until, uh, you know, until further notice, which is fine. I mean, dude, is the, obviously that takes priority over everything else. Man, HBO's Leftovers, what a show, man. Such great storytelling and the ending is so divisive but satisfying. I thought the baby was joining y'all on the show. <laughs> Stop responding to the drama videos. I mean, I'm just communicating it. Uh, I just, I wanted to get clarity or clarification rather. <sighs> he needs to work. Let woman take care of the baby. Yeah, exactly. So I think so that's not trying to spam me, but did you or XCC start streaming this first? Uh, fucking train wrecks started streaming this first. Sort of dreary looking, not the most attractive. No. But there's a fragrance there that smells delicious. Don't let chat dox the baby. In India for months, 10 cups a day. <laughs> um, strong effort, cooked beautifully. I just have to commend you on your ballsiness to stay in the competition and to take the hit. You've also got the potential of becoming a unique baker. Good job. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, done. Next up, please, Katrina. Hi, Katrina. Hey. Tell me, what do you have in here? They are rosemary, raisin, and pruned cinnamon rolls. Ew. Bro, what the fuck? That's a disqualification. Like, I know they usually just disqualify people for, like, you know, fucking up the cook or whatever. But if it were up to me, I would have fucking disqualified her just on the basis of, like, making the worst creation of all time. Rosemary and raisin? What the fuck, dude? Bro, raisin? How do you take something as decadent and as delicious and as stunning as cinnamon rolls and turn it into the absolute worst garbage? Car crash of a dessert in the form of raisins.
And the frosting has lemon zest, powdered sugar, and whole milk. They actually do not look bad, but definitely a shame that you left the paper in here. Looks good. It's cooked. <laughs> a huge plus so far. Thank you. It's got a unique flavor with the rosemary. Are you it. jealous of Ethan's baby life? <laughs> Stop, dude. You guys are so stupid. Why are you saying stupid things? I expected that. I'm trying like to fucking fruit. watch Master well, Chef. I, I like the sweetness. Definitely. It's a great effort. You would debate the baby and call it an idiot? No, I would not. Okay. The next box, Olivia. You've had never had cinnamon raisin at a show? Yes, because I hate that. It's a sweet cinnamon bun with raisins that I hydrated in rum and orange liqueur with toasted pecans and an orange glaze. Yours look better baked than some of the other cinnamon rolls that we've seen, but you can definitely see that you struggled rolling that dough tight enough so that you get the pinwheel of the cinnamon bun even. I think that the orange zest really helps carry that flavor and makes it memorable. Not a bad cinnamon roll. Thank you. Yeah. Good job, right, last box of cinnamon buns we'd like to taste. Let's go, Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Tommy. They call it the dreaded pressure test for a reason. And I am the recipient of 100% full dread from the cosmos. Right, so you're a man of fashion, a man of art, style, panache, flair. <laughs> What's inside the box? There is a green tea filling, cinnamon, allspice, pistachio nuts. The flavor profile is out of this world. Let's have a look inside the box. I can't bro, wait to see inside there. Bro, other people quite literally had like the appropriate amount of time to fucking cook this shit and undercooked it. There's no shot. That is going to be a sloppy mess in there, dude. I really hope it's not, though. I really hope he fucking... He made it. What in the f is that? Oh, Tommy. Bro, Tommy is content. Right. So you're a man of fashion, a man of art, style, panache, flair. I can't wait to see inside there. What in the f is that? Yo, she, he made like, he made like baklava fucking cinnamon rolls. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I respect that. Now, I've heard of a sick bag, but that's the first for me, a sick box. What have you done? I really wanted to do something with green tea. I love the color. And then the perfume of the pistachio nuts and orange zest together would create a symphony for your mouth. <laughs> the first tuxedo Just... is not going to come out great. But hold it's on. It's always number two and number three. I'm not eating a tuxedo. I know, You're chef. saying it's number two and one mouth for that, and I'm sure I'll be going for number two. <laughs> I'm scared. Why try to get too cocky? Why try to get too smart? I always try to take something ordinary and change it into something grand. I think that's like Close just my eyes. fucking eat it, now dude. Shut up. It tastes decent, but visually, I'm I'm shocked. I honestly don't know how you got there. It's not my best. That should come with a a health warning. Do not open in broad daylight. I have never been more embarrassed, and here I am in the MasterChef kitchen, looking like a straight-up fool, <laughs> and Katrina is laughing at me. At me, Tommy Walton. Can all five of you home cooks please come down to the front? Okay, they literally cannot eliminate my man, okay? Especially because... That's content. That's really fucked if they eliminate it. <sighs> it is, that is so much content. That was a tough pressure test. Intense, really difficult to do in 45 minutes. The person with the best cinnamon rolls tonight is Heffel. <laughs> yeah, yes. I mean, who's like the best cooked? 
please head up to the balcony. I am so excited right now. Way to go, Hazel. This just shows that when you choose to do the right thing, you'll be paid back twofold. I'm here to prove that I am 100% worthy of the title of Master Chef, and I'm not done yet. Can the following two home cooks please step forward? Katrina and Olivia. Both of you made some really crucial mistakes tonight. Why are you crying? Obviously, you're safe. Like, you're literally safe. The two people behind you made, like, either weird fucking food or just straight up raw. Like, why? Why are you crying? There were. Okay, she's annoying me with how much she cries. Like, she got them Helga-ass fucking socks on, too. Come on. Two home cooks that made bigger mistakes. Yeah, oh, wow, that's shocking. Come on. Get a grip, Katrina. Oh my God, she's crying again. Thank you. Yeah, like the fucking socks. Those are some Helga ass socks. You know what I'm talking about? Like the fucking with the, the crisscross applesauce, whatever the fuck those are. The Birkin socks. Isn't that what they're called? Thank you. <laughs> Dara and Tommy, two substandard efforts. Argyle. Tommy. You know that was one of your worst performances. I fucking hate Katrina. Look forward to seeing her in top three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, always, it's like, you, you just fucking despise a character, and they're like, oh, that you know they're making it all the way to the fucking top, okay? Since you got too clever, too cocky. You got carried away. You know what she's, like, doing that's pissing me off? She's just, like, she's... It's like that other fucking lady that we watched on uh, the Can Canada's Worst Driving Show or whatever, who would also cry all the fucking time when she was like a giant narcissist. I don't know if Katrina's like that, but she is crying so fucking much that it's like, all right, dude. Well, I, you've already, I, my patience has run out. Like it has run out for all of your crying. Also, what the fuck's happening? Okay, there's a little bit of fucking drop off of the goddamn frames a little bit. Okay, chill, chill, bro, chill. I don't like it. Okay. It's just that, like, you know, my patience is running out for her, her tears. Dara, your cinnamon rolls were undercooked, unevenly rolled, and somewhat bland and boring. You were all over the shop tonight. The person that is safe tonight will be the person that has a $5 a month subscription or an Amazon Prime because the person that will be safe from the top of the hour ad break that will get an ad free broadcasting experience. And I'm sorry, this is just how this is perfectly aligned with this one. It's just not on purpose, but like, goddamn, you know, it is what it is. Will be a person who is either A, getting gifted a sub. Okay. Or B, a person that is uh, making their own luck by subscribing for $5. Or C, a person that is subscribing for free with a Twitch Prime. My Italian friend Aurora says we baked and naked, but we still watching because Gordo matters because the Italiana who can't cook there isn't any, isn't there anymore. Wait, what? Okay, well, here's the one minute abric now. Thank you, slow queer for the five get the subs. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, her mouse or over the two subs. Bro, here's the worst thing about Chick-fil-A, by the way. This is like the one thing I need to mention. So Chick-fil-A is delicious right but it's super fucking heavy calorically dense food we had like i had the fucking chick-fil-a food 1300 calories i logged it and i'm still hungry as a motherfucker you know what i mean like it didn't fill me up it's just like greasy it didn't fill me up at all and i'm still hungry it kind of sucks i'm still incredibly incredibly hungry did you, didn't you eat for two? No, I had, I mean, I had two burgers, so technically, yeah, it is for two, but. Okay, that's fucked up. Okay, dude. I quite literally just this moment got a fucking Uber Eats notification. That, dude, this phone is listening to me. This phone is listening to me. I just, after I said what I just said, Uber Eats sends me a notification. Double the fun. Buy one. Get one is now at 
you know, some fucking acai ball place. You're not hungry, you just want to eat? No, I'm definitely hungry. Is. Tommy. Moving forward, I've got to make sure the judges can see that there is truly a cook inside of all of this. At least now, I get to still be around Katrina. Bro, straight up, I'm not even kidding. Like, when people say your phone is not listening to you, I just, I stop listening to them. You can have, like, you know, Mr. Telephone, okay? John Telephone, the inventor of telephones, or... Tim Apple, the inventor of the Apple iPhone, okay? Together in a room, explain to me the science behind it to just like 100% tell me that my phone is not listening to me to make these fucking ad decisions and shit. I will never believe them. I just, I can't. It, we're far too gone. I 100% believe that the phone is listening to me and it's serving me fucking ads straight up, 100%. Tara, yes, I'm sorry to say, but tonight your journey ends in the MasterChef competition. You know, the intent was there, the potential was there, but your timing was way off. Please place your apron on your bench and leave the MasterChef kitchen. Thank you, chefs. Thank you. Love you, Tara. Love you. I came into this competition with a smile, and I leave here with an even greater one for all of the lessons that I've learned, for the amazing people that I've been able to meet and can call friends and family now. All right, you're awesome. Show them what you got, guys. Show them what you got. It has been such a tremendous blessing and an honor to be here. I say to all of my fellow contestants, you go in there and you show them what you've got. Good job, Dara. We miss you. Next time, watch your fingers. Ah! I will never let you see. I will never let you see spoilers ever again, okay? Don't worry. I, I got you. Welcome, guys. Come on down. There's 19 people left. I am one step closer to getting that quarter of a million dollars that can change my life. I can... Bro, we've, we forgot about the lore. We forgot about the Disney villain lore. That scream sounded familiar. What, like, uh, like, uh, to the fucking roller coaster? Yeah, well, it only sounds familiar to you because I was trying to do the guy who clearly wasn't me, some other guy, and the roller coaster. I was trying to emulate that roller coaster scream just to show you I could do it, to show you my range. But I still failed because I'm not the guy who was screaming during the roller coaster. Sarah Caratini was from Irvine, California, where she was an amusement park guide. She got eliminated in season six, episode four, where her uncooked anise... Ugh, that's terrible fucking anise licorice. Uh, cinnamon rolls landed her in the bottom three after MasterChef show. Dara decided to vlog until 2015 and took several modeling jobs. She now sells clothing on Poshmark. 